I'm Nathan, I'm 13, and I live in Denver, Colorado. When I get home, normally I just maybe Skype a friend or go outside, play with the neighbors, play football. I really enjoy track, and I'd like to go into architecture later. I don't really think that when I learned that I was conceived with donor sperm that it really made a big difference to me because at that age, I really didn't know anything different from that. When I was first contacted by other siblings, I remember that I was talking to friends on Facebook and I got a message from one of them saying, you know, are you Nathan? Are, like, do I have the right person? Do you live in Denver? I said, yes. They brought up the donor and then told me that they were my half-sisters. Nathan came in and I was watching TV and he said, does the number 5114 mean anything to you? And I said, well, yes, that's your donor. And he said, did you know I have 18 siblings? I said, yes, I do. When my mom came in and I saw her reaction, I was, I remember being happy that I had half siblings, but a little frustrated with her because she had known about some of them and she hadn't told me before. Had he known about his siblings earlier that, you know, other kids didn't have dads, it might have been good for him. So in a way, I, I kind of wish I would have kept up with those families and, and not listened to my mom <laughs> about not, you know, telling him about it because I think, um, I think it could have been good for him. I never really thought that I would come in contact with my siblings, but I knew that there was a chance that there were out there. He's been on Skype with these siblings since the day he met them. I, I, like, it's been really cool. Me and the other siblings always get on Skype, talk to each other uh, online after we all get home from school, talking about similarities and just finding, you know, actual facial physical-like relations that we might have gotten from our donor. There's definitely a strong connection between all the siblings. I feel like I've already known them for longer than I have, even though I might not know that much about them. For him, it's, um, gosh, it's, it's totally cool. I mean, he's got, he'll have brothers and sisters the rest of his life, you know? And they're all within six, you know, a six-year age span. So they're all kind of on the same page. Just how our world has opened up in, uh, in like three weeks. <laughs> when I first heard about the meeting that we were gonna have in Taos, I immediately was excited. I just went over to ask my mom if it was okay for us to go. Well, tomorrow we are getting on a plane and we are flying to Taos and he is going to meet five of his half sibling for a, a reunion. I believe just two of the girls have met and the first time that everyone else has met. I was really nervous. I got you. Like, I didn't know what to say because I feel like we're brothers and sisters, but like we've never met before, so I didn't really know what to say. My name is Nick. My name is Alexis. My name is Danny. My name's Naylin. Zeke. I've noticed that we all have full lips. Yeah, and dark and eyebrows. Bushy eyebrows. And Some of us have like is. kind of widest noses, like we do, and he does kind of. Mm -hmm. And we all play soccer. Do most of us do track? I, I do track, I yeah. Do yeah. Track. It's my favorite sport, so. Today, like, we kind of, like, we got to know each other well today, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to know Nathan more, too. 
Exactly. We bring out the stupid in each other. <laughs> yeah. It seems like we at all first have the we're stupid all gene. like reserved. <laughs> all of us. And then once we get to know each other, we're like, <laughs> <laughs> we're like, hello. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that way you don't get it wrong. My mom really wasn't into the whole donor thing, and she was kind of like staying away from it. And then I got interested and I started looking for my half siblings. She wasn't like against it. She just didn't really think about it that much. And like, she was like, oh, if my daughter's interested in it, I'll be interested in it, in it too. I have not had any contact with any of the mothers before this. I've been sort of on the margin. So I find the, the experience both um, delightful. I think they're all very, very wonderful, but I also find it quite frankly odd because here I am with a group of women who have had children by the same man as I have and we just met. I never in my wildest dreams would have thought we would be sitting here with other children from the same donor. I guess I never really thought about the fact that Nalem was going to meet these other children and they were going to be like siblings. Like I can't, I never imagined the bond that these kids have. To see these guys together, even when Nathan just got out of the car, it was, it's so much more between them than a friendship. If it's important to your children and your, your children are actively fostering these relationships, these connections, and they want it, then I, I would say just follow your children's lead. I probably wouldn't have sought this, but she did, and I'm glad that she did, and, and, and I think it's been a wonderful experience. If I had one question to ask the donor, I would ask if he knew how much of us there were, if he was, like, a lot alike us, like, if he acts the same or looks like any of us. If I could ask the donor anything, I'd just ask him, like, if we're ever on his mind, like, if he thinks, like, what it's gonna be like to meet us. I want our donor to know that that, yeah, we really want to meet him, and we, we know that he probably has a life of his own now, and he might have, like, a partner and kids that he's raised, and that we just want to know who he is, and we, we don't mean to, like, barge into his life and take over. We just want to have, like, some answers, identity of who we are. Ooh, because you want to know the other half of you. Like, you only know what your mom gave you. Yeah, yeah, like, sometimes you're not even that similar to your mom, so you're like, ugh. It's, like, hard to, like, not be, like, to think, not be able to think of who your dad is. Like, most of my friends can just, like, talk about their dad or, like, know who they are, and I can't, like, like, I can't even picture him in my head of what he looks like, only my mom. So far, having contact between all my siblings has been a really cool experience because I don't really have anyone in my household besides me and my mom. So that's pretty cool. I feel like we already had like connections, like we already had things in common. We we're like so comfortable with each other. I definitely want to keep in touch with my siblings and get closer with them over time. Oh my gosh, this has been so much fun interacting with all these new people. And I'm so disappointed that not everyone could come. I mean, there's all sorts of different families. There's husbands and wives, there's single moms, there's lesbian couples. I want to meet them all. <laughs> if you want a baby and you're a single person, I think it's a great idea to use a donor because you have choices and it's safe. <laughs> it was the best decision I ever made. I'm having a blast. <laughs>